Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. Again, I'm back with another message for you. And just so you know, and to remind you, God is for us who can be against us. We are blessed and highly favored, and we're protected and secure in divine love. So if it's your first time, welcome. Returning soul driver, new soul drivers, thank you for your love, your support. I love hearing from you. Iron sharpened iron. Thank you. I certainly pray that you're doing well wherever you are. Light in your corner of the world. So glad that we're on this journey together, that our paths cross and for whatever reason, God knows and we're here. We're here. So let's get into it. So I've already prayed and shuffle these cards and if you hear the sound in the back it sounds like a generator that's just my my light here uh, she has new batteries I think she's excited a little bit so I hope that my voice will be loud enough to kind of drown it out in the back but just so you know that's that's that sound in the back there so the first card that came out it says ancestors ancestors so for a lot of you, a lot of us, you know that when our ancestors show up, it must be for a reason. It's because there is something that is going on that they're not going to allow the enemy to continue to do. Or they're stepping up on our behalf to help to protect us from what the enemy is or the enemy is trying to bring to our life. So for a lot of you, your ancestors are showing up and they're showing out that they're here for you and they're here to protect you. For a lot of you, they're here to protect whatever it is that you're building, a community, a family, a home, your victory, your celebration, your relationships, your partnerships, they're here to help you to protect this because it's like this is like whatever this is that the enemy is coming up against it is your birthright but the devil wants to interfere the enemy wants to intercept to take what is yours and this is why your ancestors are showing up yeah this mother of sticks here this could be like a this is like a queen of wands, but guys, remember it's an energy. So this could also be a masculine as well. But this is somebody, since she has something in her mouth, like a, a, a cigarette, she's smoking something and she's bringing up to the bird. And we know bird, it's all about gossip. So this person is like taming this bird but i mean think about it is like the fume from the cigarette the toxin whatever this person is spewing out it's poisonous it's not good what is coming out of this person's mouth the energy that it's giving off it's definitely not good and so yes for a lot of you with the seven of sticks your ancestors are here to protect you and again, this is confirmation that you are highly protected from whatever this is that the enemy is trying to, to hurl at you, to put out at you. And then we have the six of knives, which is the six of swords, moving on to calmer water. Some of you, you're called or you're going to be moving away from a community, a group of people moving on. God is taking you away to calmer waters because these people are up to no good. For a lot of you, a lot of us, we're living in communities or we're surrounding, are surrounded by people who are toxic. And it and it, it doesn't even have to be physical, you know, like where you are right now, but there could be people also you're associated with. Or even if they're strangers, but these are people who don't have the best of intentions for you. And it's like it is so much, it is so big, that is like your your spiritual backings, 
your ancestors are stepping in and showing up to protect you to move you in to guide you where you're supposed to be because again this is your birthright and they're not going to allow the enemy or the enemies to abort this mission so it's like it's 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 you know it's it's wow it's like say this is um you're protected on both sides it's like your enemies they're protecting you it's kind of like a motorcade and so they are helping to navigate you on this path to where you're supposed to go to this community to this life this relationship this partnership whatever it is this celebration this victory that you're supposed to have and the enemy is trying to bombard that here it says the free man, but again, it's in reverse. This person, our persons, are these people. They are not free. They are in bondage. They are entrapped with the enemy, with the devil. And so this person, these people, they want to come back intoxicated with lust, with lies, and this is what a lot of these people will do. It's like when they have done like everything or almost everything, what they'll do, they'll try to seek out anybody who you're in relationship with. And they will try to speak lies to these people because here is like she's blowing smoke. It's like it's not even the truth. It's like. She's not even speaking, but it's the toxin, the gas that's coming out of her mouth that she's using to entrap people, to speak lies, to get people to believe that you're a bad person, to turn people against you. So when it's like when you walk away from these people, they'll try to send people back into your life or the person or few people you have left they will try to see how they can penetrate that. And so this is why it is so important to make sure that you know the people who are in your circle. Keep your enemies close. That one does not rub right with me. If you're my, if you're my enemy or I know you're working with my enemy, you're definitely not my friend. And I do not want you close to me. But again, to each his own, right? So this is what these people will do. But I'm telling you, whatever it is that they're trying to do, God is showing up and he's protecting you. And I go through things so that I can share with you because so often we hear about the bad, but we don't hear about how God is protecting us. And how many times I come here and I, I've said we're blessed and highly favored and we're highly protected. And I'm telling you, yes, we are. And this is why I'm here, not only to tell you, but also to share my experiences with you that God is real. The protection is real. It's like on the day of the eclipse, I believe that was the 8th. And before, it's like between that wake up and still half asleep. I was on my right side and I saw in the spirit. And I mean, I felt it. Let me tell you, if that was done in the physical realm, I would not be here to tell the story right now. But it's like I saw what looks like a bat, like a baseball bat. And I felt it, even though God blocked it. But he wanted me to feel what is going on in the spiritual realm. It's like right across the side of my head on the left side, from my ear to the side of my head, is like a big wham. And then the words D-E-A-D. -E I felt it even though God blocked it. And he does that a lot because he wants me to know what is going on in the spiritual realm. 
all the things that they are blocking and preventing from happening to me. Let me tell you, I had to get up and I started to speak in the spirit and bind up these things. But I'm telling you, we, we don't know all that is taking place in the spiritual realm. But from time to time, God allows me to feel it. Because again, if, if God blocked it, if Archangel Michael intercepted it, and I was able to feel that, let me tell you, I felt it. And I thank God for protecting it and blocking it. And I thank my ancestors and my guides for looking out for me. Because I know that the spiritual warfare, it is real. And this is why we are called. Because God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So don't take it lightly. Even if you are not feeling it, he protects us every day, everywhere. He protects us when we're sleeping, before our feet, before our feet touches the ground, before we take our first step out the door. He has us in the palm of, of his hands. We're protected. This is what I'm telling you. It's like... About a week ago, there is this meeting via Zoom that I haven't been to in a while. And I reach out because I tried calling her. I, it's as if, I don't know, but it constantly go to voicemail. It's kind of like when you're blocked and it will just go to voicemail. But I partner with this person to see you know, to what else is out there, kind of to learn some new things. But I met her through the online community where I was. And um, I emailed her to say, I haven't heard anything. She said, oh, we're still meeting. I said, okay. So I decided to hop on. So I went on first on my phone. My camera was off. Then I went and I sat at my desktop. So I thought, let me just log on via my desktop instead of holding my phone in my hand. Confirmation. And so I still had it on on my phone while I was logging on on my desktop. And if you have been on Zoom, you know where there's a point when you log on, you have to wait for the host to let you in. I don't know if she could see me, but I was looking at her on my phone and on the camera, even though the camera for my desktop was off, but I was still able to see her. And it's like she looked, she looked like at her computer, then she said, just a moment. And it's like, you're hosting a meeting. Why you need to like almost walk on your knees to get up? Like she's trying to dodge the camera. As she she was like on her hands like she said a minute give me a minute and I'm waiting for her to let me in so I waited for a while then when she came back she let me in I turned the camera off I turned my 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 cell phone off with that and I introduced myself to the others there and it's like not even a minute into it it's like if you've ever gone to an uh, optometrist to get an eye exam, when they tell you open your eyes wide, it's like there is this puff of air. That's how it felt like something just hit me in the face. And then the computer went out. All of my, my browsers that were open, everything went down and just the circle spinning. It was just spinning. And then my head, I became very dizzy. My head was spinning too. And it's like I had to, with whatever strength I had, again, just pleading the blood of Jesus. I thought maybe it affected everybody. Like, you know, it threw everybody off. But then I had to turn my computer off. I was afraid it may crash or something. But when I, I had to turn it off, and give, I gave it a moment, then I went back on on my cell phone because I need to let the enemy or enemies know that I'm still here. 
I am still here. So I went back with my cell phone. And it's like nothing happened. Everybody was still there and talking. Nothing was interrupted. Nothing was interrupted. And I know the culprit behind this. And I sent her, Diane, a message. I sent her Psalm 27. And then I said, return to sender. I said, why are you always getting innocent people to do your dirty work? Why are you always? It's like... She tries to figure out wherever I am, whoever I'm working with, and then she gets those people to do her work to notify her that I'm on. And then that's how, because I, like I expressed before, energies need something to connect to you. And that was the way of sending it through the computer. Completely not everything. I had to go in and and you know for those of you who have channels you have your youtube stuff up you ha i had my emails everything up was open everything was cleared off everything was gone i had to open new browsers and start everything all over again afresh and i'm telling you it's like the hit that i felt it's like i was jolted back and then it's like the nausea and my head was just spinning. I knew that was spiritual warfare. And so I sent her Psalm 27 to let her know that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Because when the wicked, even my enemies and my, my, my foes, they came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Even though war should rise against me, my heart, it will not fear. I will not fear. So, yes, God works miracles. And like I said, from time to time, he allows me to feel what the enemy is doing, even though he blocks it. But he wants me to know. And this is why out in these streets here it's not easy and this is not for the faint of heart but when you know that God put you where, he, where you are then you do not need to be afraid of the, 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 the arrows that fly it by day and all of these things a thousand shall fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand and none shall come near us Because when God puts you where he wants you, he protects you. Now, people want to be nice and kissy face, let me tell you. And, and, and these people, all of them, they're older, more mature women. But again, like I said, for a lot of you, a lot of us, it's the blessing, it's the promise of God. All of them, they want, they come together to, to team up. And this is why I'm telling you, you cannot take people at face value because so often it's like you're searching even just one person. Can I just trust one person? Is there anybody out there? And then, wham, they just let you know that they're just another one in disguise. They're just another fake, another phony can't be trusted can't be trusted these people they want to take you out for one reason or another for one reason or another and i'm telling you it's yeah it's for a lot of you it's this pentacle the son of coins this is pentacles that they're not going to get this is what they want this is why they're waging war and this is this is this is what the ancestors are keeping away from this person or these people yeah it's like they're working hard to block to stop whatever it is that you're working on it's either about money it's either about a man or these people are just messy. And when I say messy, it's they're jealous for whatever reason. They're envious for whatever reason. They're just a hater. But it's either one of those M's or maybe all of the above. So these people, 
are working tirelessly. But see, so is God. So is our ancestors. So are our ancestors. They're working very hard to block and stop these people. Because whatever it is, this could also, the eight of coins, this could also be about your career that you're working hard on. You're working hard in your workplace. And you have people who want to attack that. They don't want you to get that raise. They don't want you to get that promotion. They don't want you to get that pentacles. And that's what they're trying to block. But our ancestor is also trying to protect that. Yeah, it's like these people are this person coming off as if they're stable, man or woman, mother of of sticks, this queen of wands. And again, that's like a low vibrational, very lustful, jealous, envious, toxic person. Again, it's like all they spit out their mouth is just hate, fumes, things that are detrimental to your health. They, it's about the money. That's what they want. They, they're, I mean, they're posing as if they're stable, but they're really unstable. They don't have anything because they don't work. They don't want to work. These are the people who want you to work all week. And then when you when you go on Friday, when, when you go to the bank, they want to come and take it from you. Because they're jealous and they're envious of whatever it is you're building or whatever it is that you're coming into. I mean, some of these people who are doing this, it's the ten of coins in reverse. Again, they don't they they want to take your stability. For some of these people, these are your families, but they are now in the reverse. Because your ancestors are showing up and showing out to block these people, to let them know, touch not God's anointed and do his prophet, do his children no harm. I mean, I'm telling you, these people, they're gonna be left out in the cold here. They're going to be left out in the cold. And whatever it is they wanted for you, the two of knives to be up in your head, to be confused, can't decide to be trapped. This is their portion. This is going to be their portion. Because for you, it's your two of, your, your two of baskets, your two of cups here. You're going to have the life that you desire, you deserve, and the life that God says you desire and you deserve. You're partnering with God. And if God says it is done, it's like for a lot of these people, to be honest with you, we're at a point where it's like it doesn't even make sense you tell them vengeance is mine, said the Lord. It doesn't make sense you tell them about karma because they don't believe in God. And this is why they're so dumb because if they had any idea of who God is and how great and powerful he is, they would have stopped, but they are too dumb to stop. It's about ego. They have a point to prove. I mean, how can you, if, if somebody's not going to give you something, some of these people with like this free man who is toxic, some of you, some of us, when people had us, they didn't want us, but because they want us to be on the back burner so they can go out, play the field, and then when they get tired and run down, then they can come back because you are their safety net. So you are their resource, you are their food bank. So it's like when they come back or you decide, no, I don't want to have a relationship with you, they refuse to take no for an answer. But it was okay for them to do everything that was miserable, to flirt, to flaunt, to want everything else. Now they realize all that glitters is not gold. They think you are their backup plan. So they want to fall back on you now. And now you decide, no, that was then. This is who I am now. They can't accept that. They can't accept no. And this is how you know these people are narcissists. They want to force themselves on you in your life. And it's not really that they love you or they want you. It's only because of who you are and what you have. 
and what you have to offer. They think they can come back with that same lustful, that same flesh. No, you all grow that. You're not that person who you were in the past. And for some of you, this could be a distorted masculine. Or this female could be in a, in a distorted a masculine energy. Because again, they're working really hard. But they're going to realize that everything they're working on, it's futile. Because if God says it, it is what it is. They can listen to their father of lies because this is why they keep doing what they're doing. Because they're believing the lies to keep going, keep going. And then now it's like they're attacking the channels because they want to keep the views low. Because they don't want people to hear about the nasty things that they have been doing. It's like, how coward are you? I thought you were bad. But now they want people to see them in an upright way even though all they're doing is just blowing smoke hot here this is this reminds me of the car that says same ish you know different day but it's the same thing every day all they spit out is toxin toxic it's poisonous air in the environment now they want to 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 prevent the word from getting out hacking to see and blocking this is what they they're doing they're up to their foolishness still on that game that distorted masculine or feminine like i said these are people who are working together who are trying to block something but again what god has for you it's already done these are groupies these are people who are online whether in a church group a cult our local community. Yeah, but these people, they can never, could never walk a mile in your shoes. They can't. And again, look, you're highly protected. We just saw the seven of wands there. You're highly protected. Confirmation. Yes, and Spirit is saying, while you're moving on and whatever you're working on and building, do it in silence here. Yeah, these are iniquity workers and they will perish. Whether this group, these, this man, this woman, everybody who work with these people, I don't care how deep, if you just wet your toe, if you just, you are just a bystander, however way you engage, these people will have to pay. And I'm telling you, this is our, when our ancestors come out, they mean, they mean business. They mean business. They're not playing about you. They're not playing about us. And these people, they're going to feel it. They're really going to feel it. Wow. See these people, energy, uh, energy harvesting off of you. These families, these groups, these people you thought were your families. This is why our energies are off. This is why we're drained. This is what they're doing. They want to harvest off of us to create their wealth, but they're in the reverse. It's not going to work. It won't work. It's, I'm telling you, it's always, it's about the money, a man, or they're messy. Yes, a lot of these people, they're in the five of pentacles because they stole your stuff. Some of these people, they stole your clothes, your belongings, so that they could go and work on it. Yeah, and it's too late. It's too late to apologize. So a lot of these people, they're torn now. They're trapped between two worlds. Some of them, they want to come back, but it's too late to apologize. You already know what they're on to. Because again, for a lot of these people, they wanted you to be confused, to be stuck. Feeding your lies. Blowing smoke in your face all along. You thought they were genuine. No. And for a lot of you, you're saying no. It's too late to apologize. And look. Wow. God, ancestors, angels are stepping in. I couldn't make it up. God, ancestors, and our angels are stepping in. Yeah. It's like enough is enough. Because see, the spiritual warfare, it's, it's, it's amped up. Because the enemy knows 
that he is, they are losing. And so now they're like searching in their bag is like for loose change. What else we can do? What else can we throw at them? And so they're amping it up day and night. These witches, these warlocks, they're not sleeping. And neither is God. Neither is our angels. Neither is our ancestors and our guide. And absolutely return to sender. And God turned it around. And as I open this deck here, it says Ace of Pentacles, the adore God, divine blessings, drive away evil spells, rules, agricultural production. So everything that you have been working on, it will come to pass. Divine blessings is yours. And God is here driving away all evil spirits from out of your life. And we have here, yes, the magician, spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. So everything these people have been doing in the dark, God is revealing it to light right now. He's showing us. And another confirmation with the Six of Cups here. God who stirs all men, motivation, lifts up those who are falling and humiliated. This is what they've been spreading lies because they want us to be humiliated. They want us to be the butt of the joke. Yeah, with the cigarette butt, the butt of the joke. They want us to be the laughing stock. But no, God has the final say here with the six of pentacles, divine grace, cures rage and pestilence, and he absolves the guilty. Yes, so all of those guilty people, I'm telling you, they will be rewarded for any role, any part that they played to try to be deceptive in our lives. I'm telling you, God is good all the time. Bless